Back home, Madame Lou. This island has been uh, 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 living people since very long time ago, since the medieval time and even before that. We have a lot of Viking left. Uh, you can find things on the island like uh, necklaces and so on. And uh, it's also been part of the Hansa in Riga and Visby and so on. So they, the Liebeck was also a part of the Hansa okay. uh, agreements. So they, they sell and buy stuff. So it was a very important part of of Easter Sea and Sweden. And Danish has taken it over several times. So it's been Danish and a bit Swedish. <laughs> and uh, now it's mostly a holiday paradise for people from all over the world, but also a lot of Swedes. And the city wall is from the medieval century as well. And it was most, it was strongest on the land side, actually. They wanted to protect themselves from the farmers and the people on the island more than the sea. We have about 600 program items and we have uh, 100,000 visitors this week, both from the island and from Sweden and from all over the world. A lot of tourists. Today we have three cruise ships on this city com coming and walking around from Germany, from US, from everywhere. But a lot of people come here and they live in the campsite in medieval uh, tents and live the medieval style the whole week. And uh, a lot of people who come here who doesn't have the medieval clothes, they buy it on the market because they get hooked on this feeling, trying to be kind of yourself and some, someone else for a week. We, the participants on the market and on the stages has to have some kind of medieval feeling they, they ha try have to try to look and feel medieval that's kind of the rule <laughs> but uh, otherwise we welcome everyone and it's uh, f friendliness and uh, love that's our mission on this week and also to spread the knowledge about medieval time this is the market so it's a marketplace we sell and buy stuff here <laughs> Yeah. Actually, and we have handicrafts from all over the world coming here, from Germany Denmark, from there. yeah, from Denmark, from Germany. Uh, we have uh, Switzerland, we have Norway, and they we have uh, craftsmanship like this is wood makers. We have fabric over there. Uh, we have uh, jewelry and silversmith over there. They, we also have they show how to do it, so you can watch and see all these handicrafts mm. being made. <laughs> we have 22 stages uh, where we, with happenings. It's all from lectures and uh, concerts and theater and fire shows and all kind of performances. And we are a co-creating festival. So the people who come here, they want to come here and they want to perform. They choose that. We don't search for people to come here. So if you want to come, you... you uh, Put, put, put in a request to us and then we can we fit you in we, we can't have only fire shows and we can't have only but we, we try to say yes to everyone as long as they try to be medieval so this is the food court we have all different kinds of food here we have crepes from France reindeer we have meat in bread and we uh, you can come here after all the activities and uh, uh, sit down, take a drink, eat some good food and listen to some nice music from the stage over there. Uh, 
actually the Vikings was the first real democracy. And uh, that's one thing. The other thing is that uh, everyone had a, had a place uh, in the community. Uh, you needed to help each other a lot. They were explorers. Uh, you know, when you look at movies, you, it was just uh, wah, killing people in the world. No, shit. We, we were out on our boats to Asia, uh, to, to the States, in all of Europe. We were everywhere. So we were actually explorers. Uh, we took back uh, knowledge, uh, tools, learned a lot. And for me, that's the expression of being a Viking. And of course, if somebody said no, we killed them. That's not so good, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it was the exploration of knowledge, I would say, that inspired me for, you know, uh, being a Viking. And also, I, I like the, the gods they had, Thor and Odin. I like the myth of it. I'm still a Viking, and all my kids are going to be Vikings, and they're going to be Vikings. That's how it is. <laughs> Uh, so we are uh, depicting the camp of uh, Landsknechts that uh, Gustav Vasa, Gustav the uh, First, hired from Germany to expel the Danish king from Sweden because it was a, a, a local uh, 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 internal war in Sweden. Uh, Sweden was in a union with Denmark, but some uh, noblemen wanted to break. Uh, the Stockholm fan line, they mainly became officers when they were creating the army. So uh, you can see we live in a, in a quite uh, fancy camp. We have uh, a kitchen for a nobleman. We have uh, nice beds in our tents. Uh, whereas common soldiers at this time, they li normally lived in huts and, and, and and very simple. But since we are more like noblemen and rich soldiers, we can live very fancy. Time. We are from Georgia. This is traditional singings. This is traditional. Om en dess vägar är svåra och branta. Och ge er inget utom i sig själv. 